Okay, so, uh, at the time we were recording this, I just, like, literally just finished, um, editing last week's video for you guys, and, yeah, this is really fucking late, uh, I did not in intend for it to be like this, I just wanted to get my Assassin's Creed videos out, and here we are. Lucky for me, though, un un like, while these are late, that does mean, um, that I do have, like, literally so much planned out for the next, like, several months now. <laughs> anyway, though, we are doing the Trailblaze Continuance mission. And then next week for you guys, probably, ex probably right after recording this video for me, we'll be doing the companion quest for Jing Liu. Which, no, I have not gotten her. <laughs> I've done, I've done, I think, 60 pulls now, and I'm about ready to, bro uh, to pull out the wallet. <laughs> In any case, though, let's just get right on into this. Hey, did you hear about our next stop? It's a world called Penacone. I hear it's a beautiful, dreamy place. I'm so excited. Yeah, well, we ain't going there till at the very least next update, March. So. But Pom Pom said the banquet we were invited to is still a little ways off. Hmm. Banquet. What can I do to pass the time? We go into Bellabog. That's what we're doing to pass the time. Huh? Is that my phone? Must be the group chat. Going to Billabug to help Bronya out with the IRS. <laughs> Seriously though, Topaz is literally just the IRS. Can you read this message? Express crew. I just like how like most of the like memes I guess regarding like Topaz going to your Reload 6 is just like, hi, so like how long has it been that since Bellabog's been cut off from the rest of the galaxy? <laughs> It's like, what, several hundred years, right? You know, it's, it's like the the IPC was just like, was like, was just like, hey, so, um, we see you're open up to the galaxy again. Uh, you have several hundred years worth of taxes due that are overdue plus interest because they're overdue. So, so. <laughs> I ain't reading this, you guys can read these. Pause the video and read them, I ain't reading these. Does it give me more context? Yes. Am I going to spend the time reading them? No. No. Oh, don't honk, don't. Has been busy these days, you don't say. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> that Don hung. He can't just ignore Branya. Well, I mean, he kind of has some other shit going on right now. What with, like, um, basically, basically so much of the La Fu either trying to get him to become the High Elder of the Vidyatara again, or trying to kill him. <laughs> so, like... <laughs> Let's go to his room and talk to him. Oh, you see, no, okay. I wonder if he's going to be in his, um... Is this... a letter? Not right now. Not right now, that's the companion mission. I wonder, is he going to be in his Imbibed Lune form or his Don Hong form? Because we know he can switch between the two. Okay, just his Don Hong. Okay. Don Hong! Branya just sent all of us a message. Did you see it yet? Yes. I saw it. And? Then why didn't you reply? Ronnie is a good friend of ours. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm just not in the mood for idle chat. There's been a lot weighing on my yep. mind since the low Fu. Yeah. It was uh, tough on the spirit. Yeah, I can understand that. Uh, Don Hung, I'm the one who should be sorry. I was being too pushy. You're right. You went through a lot on the Sienjo. Take all the time you need. Uh, 
Thank you for understanding. Yeah. Come it's on. It's great dude. that Velabog is able to host the celebration. I hope your trip goes well. Okay. Damn it, I cut off the text. You're not allowed to miss the next Trailblaze expedition. <laughs> yeah, when we go to the next planet. I'll be there next time. Huh? Looks like it's just the two he won't of us but then. march. <laughs> oh, pity. He's gonna miss out. Oh Will boy. He never get the chance to go on a stress-free adventure. Uh. Something tells me this isn't gonna be stress-free. I know, but it's still a shame, don't you think? March. <laughs> uh, if only Himeko could come with us. Maybe not. He's still wheezing from the trouble we got into on the Sienjo. You didn't notice? He is, he, he is very old, let's be. At his age, he might not here. appreciate the extra... Mm, excitement. <laughs> March. March. I know, I know the... Canonically, our characters don't know what he went through in Honkai Impact. But March, I think he can handle it. <laughs> This man has lived for hundreds of years, has literally remade his own body several times over. <laughs> I, I think he's fine. Why don't we go ask Himeko to tag along? She might be up for an adventure. Oh, Himeko's fine. Himeko? No, 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 no. You've Nothing better happen to Himeko. For a while now, but you've never gone on a trip with Himeko before, right? Well, now's your chance. Nothing better happened to Himeko. I'm fucking serious here. <laughs> hey, March. That's a big smile on your face. What's the good news? Uh, Himeko, there's a celebration coming up on Urillo 6, organized by the Supreme Guardian, and we're invited to go take in the sights and sounds. Okay. Don Hung won't be going anywhere for a while. He's still resting up. So, want to come with us? Listen, I've already gone through one Himiko death in Honkai Impact. I do not want to go through another. <laughs> I mean, considering how you helped us out with Kakolia, I'm sure Branya would be happy to see you. <laughs> ah, so that explains the grin. You're excited about the celebration. Thanks for the invite, but I'm afraid my hands are full right now. Okay, good. Please, send my regards to the Supreme Guardian. Make the most of the festivities. You've earned it. You two and Don Hung did help save Urillo 6 after all. I'll be sure to join you guys next time. Aw, navigators really do have their plates full, huh? Uh-huh. Seems like it's just you and me this time. Let me go pack some stuff for the trip first. Honestly, I'd rather it just be me and March than me, March, and Himiko because I'd... Let's, again? <laughs> let's not go through that again, Mihoyo. Which, by the way, like, <laughs> this is like a meme going around, right? Is, um, doo -doo -doo -doo. everyone over here, right? Over here, right? She, still, literally got stabbed by a lance, lance, and unlocked the power of the preservation, right? Unlocked more power, right? Don Hung was impaled on a sword, which enabled him to, like, reconnect with the Imbiber Lune power, right? So when's March getting stuck? <laughs> when are we getting Alicia? <laughs> what the heck? March? So, what do you think about my new dress? Pretty neat, right? No, actually. I prefer your I prefer your other outfit. <laughs> Did you buy it? <laughs> Never had the right occasion to try it on. That still doesn't explain when you bought it. This kind of event doesn't come around every day. Why shouldn't I dress for the occasion? You're not really gonna wear that same old outfit, are you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just pretend I never said anything. As long as one of us is making an effort. Oh, shut <laughs> I prefer your regular outfit. Like. Pajamas, hot water bottle, pom pom doll. That should be everything. 
go. You mean that? Or is it a smaller version of that? Wow, that was fast. Yeah. Don't you have anything you want to bring with you? My inventory is completely stocked. I'm good. <laughs> My relics stole it. No, they don't. No, I've just missed huh. it. You do seem to travel light. Yeah. But don't you at least need some pajamas? No, I'm good. I was just taking a look at Mr. Yang's records. And it seems like your Rillo 6's average temperature has warmed up quite a bit. Oh. It's much warmer than it was on our first trip there. That's good. That's really good. I wouldn't good. call it livable just yet, but things are looking up. Yeah. I'm so happy for Branya and Zila. Yeah. Ready to go? Yep. <laughs> Bella Bog, here we come. Uh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Galabar. Seven hundred years. <laughs> Holy shit. It's never too late to pick up the tab. <laughs> Yo, Topaz, can you chew up? IRS showed up. Oh, IPC. Uh, wait a sec. That person over there. That doesn't look like a Silvermane Guard uniform. All in black. Surely they're not IPC on this world? Am I going crazy? No, nah, like, to like Topaz said. 700 years since they last paid their taxes. <laughs> Some interest and the taxes themselves are due. What an ugly... No, nah, I think it looks cool. Interastral Peace Corporation. Who else? The one whose insignia is pretty much everywhere? That IPC. You still don't remember? Oh, what about Findy? I That's hated Findy. I hated oh, Findy. And the Interastral Peace Broadcast. You know the one always being played on the Express? You mean the one you starred? You mean the one that, like, you were in literally, like, what, a few weeks ago? <sighs> Never mind. It's not that important. The important question is. What are the IPC doing on Urillo 6? Hmm, there's only one way to find out. Let's go ask. I've always found IPC staff easy to talk to. Yeah, but this is the debt collection crew. <laughs> Hi. Do you work for the Interastral Peace Corporation? Or are you just dressing fancy today? <laughs> for this engine uh, robot uh, march. But... Boss, encounter with two unknowns. Want me to take him out? Over. Jesus. Really? <laughs> really? Uh, to take us out? Take them out? <sighs> Just hang tight for a second. I'm on my way. Don't do anything stupid. Seriously, dude? Jeez. <laughs> That's your first instinct? Glad to meet uh... you, I'm Topaz, an investment expert from the Interastral Peace Corporation. I'm here on Urella 6 for a special business assignment. Jesus Christ. <laughs> You'll have to forgive my colleague here. People scales aren't his strong suit. Really, I can tell. Apart. I couldn't tell. You, you scared the life out of me. We're here for the celebrations. We're not looking for more conflict. Oh, right. We should probably introduce ourselves. I'm March 7th, a passenger of the Astral Express. You may have heard of it. And this is my friend and fellow passenger. Hi. <laughs> no kidding. I could tell you weren't locals from a mile away, but I didn't expect to run into two nameless here. Fate is such a curious thing. Yeah, it took it took it took the Silverman guards a couple minutes to realize. Wait, you're not from here, are you? <laughs> I heard that Urillo Six only stepped out of the Stellar on Shadow. What the hell was that? Was that intervention of the Trailblazers? But surely you two. Yeah, aren't. that's your shorter. <laughs> it says the honor is yours. <laughs> Humble? No. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I never imagined I'd run into living legends here. Must be your lucky day, huh, Numby? Yeah. <laughs> I always forget that that's of your mouth Hello, open. Ms. Topaz. You're really young for an IPC executive. That's impressive. <sighs> More good luck, I suppose. But it's not as cushy as you think. Scurrying from one side of the galaxy to the other. Going wherever businesses require me to be. Huh. Your job sounds pretty similar to the express cruise. Aside from the business, I guess. Yeah. We just kind of go places. <laughs> the crisis is only just over and she's already opened talks with the IPC. Yeah, about that one. <laughs> These talks aren't exactly what you might expect. But I have to agree. The Supreme Guardian definitely knows how to govern a city. And that's the reason I'm here on Urello 6. To meet with her. Uh, Miss Marge, you said you were on your way to Bellabog festivities, right? My apologies for delaying you both. Don't be sorry. It's not like we're in a rush. Yeah. Want to come to the city with us? The snow plains are freezing, and it's easier than you think to get lost out here. Thanks for the concern, but I'll manage. It's my first time on this world. I'd like to take it in its vast, iconic snowscape for Yeah, and it's, it's kind of hard to miss this the only the only civilization on the entire planet. I I think it's kind of hard to miss that. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe we'll cross paths again during the Oh, I just know she has the earpiece. Oh, here's my contact information. I don't usually respond during work hours, but I'd be happy to chat off the clock. Okay. Wow, I actually managed to get an IPC executive's phone number. Without even trying. All right. Did you do your nails as well? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't like either of these questions. Either of these options. <laughs> as if anyone would ever believe that. Yeah. <laughs> you two make a cute pair. Uh, anyway, I'd better be on my way. See you next time. The universe is huge yet we somehow stumbled onto the same path fate truly works in mysterious ways don't you think yep definitely alicia i mean march <laughs> come on let's head into the city that is something i wish we got a full thing <laughs> Can we please? I, I guarantee you, Mihoyo After will all, do a like here. full scale one eventually. Or we could go check out some other fun stuff elsewhere. Your call. Like an in game event for like New Year's or something. Where are we going? Oh, we're gonna go see Ronya. And all the cheering just stopped. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Topaz is already here. I understand the difficulties that this world is facing, Supreme Guardian. Bellabog's current financial burden cannot be pinned on you, nor anyone else for that matter. However, objectively speaking, since Bellabog has existed as an independent entity to this day, its debt cannot simply be written off. Eh, yeah, sounds about right. Oh, it looks like we have some visitors. And Topaz? You're here too? I guess you've already started your business talk. We'll get out of your way if... It's no bother. We've pretty much wrapped things up already anyway. Yeah, it's time to like it. Please consider my plans carefully, Supreme Guardian. If Urela 6 wants to rebuild its connections with the rest of the galaxy, your credit record with the IPC will be of great importance. You've made yourself clear, Miss Topaz. I'll require some time to consider my next course of action. Mm. Naturally. However, while you're deliberating, my colleagues will need to carry out some operations in Bellabog. I hope Why? that your subjects in the underworld are cooperative. Why? I... <laughs> what operation? I'm sorry our business got in the way of a reunion with old friends. I'll get out of your way.
Jeez, that button is clinging on for dear life. Jeez. Mihoyo, you, you have a tendency of making characters like that, especially recently. <laughs> is everything all right, Branya? I didn't know Miss Zila was so intense. She seemed nice when we met her. I'm guessing Zila is taking care of stuff in the underworld. Well, because yeah, we kind of met her off business, March. This is on business. It's good to see you two again. Welcome back to Bellabog. I planned a special reception, but I had to deal with an unexpected guest. The lady you just witnessed, she claims to represent the IPC. Yeah. There's no need to keep either of you in the dark. To tell the truth, I have too much weighing on my mind right now to even think about the Psalmworm Festival. Oh. Since you've already made her acquaintance, I needn't explain who she is. I'm sure you've heard pieces of Bellabog's history the first time you visited. The Legion's invasion 700 years ago. Yeah. How the Stellaron brought about the Eternal Freeze. Yeah. It seems that much of Bellabog's history from that time was buried deep beneath the snow. Those memories were lost and weren't passed down to the subsequent generations of Supreme Guardians. Mm -hmm. Topaz shared with me the story of the Stellaron's descent upon Yurillo 6. How the original outsiders stationed here foresaw the impending disaster and chose to leave in large numbers. Among those outsiders were several investors from the Interastral Peace Corporation. Before they departed, they did something noteworthy. They sought out architects who refused to leave, those who insisted on defending their homes. Mm -hmm. The IPC provided these architects with significant funds to aid them against the coming disaster. It was with those funds that Bellabog was able to construct its immense walls. Even the initial funding for the development of the first batch of automatons was drawn from the same pool. Wow, that's a pretty incredible story. So, does that mean Topaz's business here is to collect a debt from Bellabog? Okay, that just seems kind of cruel, though. A debt that no one remembers. Like... You know? <laughs> I, IPC, you gotta realize this, right? If no one remembers, or there's no accounts of this... Of this, um, transaction, right? Then... Technically speaking, I'm fairly certain Bellabog has every right um, to refuse until substantial evidence is is put forward, right? Unless that has already been put forward in like during while Topaz was telling her all that. Yes, I'm afraid so. That's ridiculous. And what's with the timing? What took them so long to get here? If it wasn't for us eliminating the Stellaron. They'd have nothing to collect. It's obvious they're just trying to take advantage. Yeah. According to her account, the repayment period agreed upon by the architects and the IPC investors was 280 years. However, less than a century after the loan was taken out, the connection between Yarillo 6 and the rest of the galaxy was completely severed. The IPC deemed that the disaster had caused irreparable damage and that there was no civilization left to reclaim the debt from. As such, they considered the owed sum permanently lost. And then we save this place and it made connection again. <laughs> so. It wasn't until the Stellaron crisis was resolved that the IPC discovered that Bellabog had survived. And that's when they sent Topaz over to collect the debt. And the interest. Yep, there it is. There it is. I knew there was going to be interest. Yeah. How much is that? Astronomical there? amount. Yeah, how much is that? I don't even know how to read such a long string of numbers. That's not good. <laughs> okay, if it's that many numbers, then yeah, we have... That's a massive problem. Yeah, wait, I got it. I got it. I have two Stellaron Hunter... Hunters that I can place on my team. We'll um, we'll turn them in for their for their incredibly high bounties. Will that help? Before you both arrived, Topaz warned and then break them out. I mean, delayed, the IPC would give her the authority to employ strong measures. Jeez. Bellabog. 
Nope. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to intervene, but <laughs> I don't think we want to. I don't think we want to intervene with, with literally galaxy-wide, a galaxy-wide corporation. <laughs> it could. It could not turn out very well for us. Uh, right. We need to figure out how to help them. Uh. The IPC is too big and powerful. Even if Branya steps in, it'll be hard for her to resolve the situation. Yeah, and what do you mean, like, if the pain is delayed? Delayed, they'll, they'll use substantial force. Force, force to take what? If there's nothing to be paid, then... I... Huh? <laughs> deeper knowledge of the Interastral Peace Corporation than I do. But if the records are accurate, and they truly have a presence throughout the galaxy, the IPC could crush Bellabog like a bug if they wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. Kinda of fucked up. I'm glad you're both here. I know you came for the festival, but now... Now... I must ask you and the Astral Express for help. Do you think you could persuade Topaz to reevaluate the situation? The Express's reputation precedes it. Perhaps there's still hope? Yeah, I, I'm just, no, seriously though. They do, like, not just Topaz, but the but the people above Topaz uh, really need to reevaluate the situation. <laughs> just, like, like they, they have had literally, like, They've only had inward economy kind of thing, right? So there's only so much money to go around in in Bellabog itself when it was cut off. So with no external commercial values, they can't... They, they sh If they were to pay off whatever amount there is here, there would be nothing... There would be no currency left in Bellabog. Like... Have no fear, Branya. When a friend's in need, the Nameless will always be at their side. Let's bring out the big gun. <laughs> I'll switch to my lance. Give me a second. Yeah. After all, this girl here is a pretty good negotiator. Yeah, I mean, uh, I did the uh, Arm Alley event, and I literally... I, li I literally ne um, negotiated Arm Alley's Arm Alley up into, like, one of the most... Prosperous ports on the Lafu. So yeah, Thank you so much, both of you. I got this. <laughs> I'm so sorry for dragging you into more trouble. I get a cut of the um. I get a cut of the payment from Arum Alley. I can just go and collect. <laughs> I'm looking for topaz. I'll see if I can think of a strategy to deal with the situation. Best of luck, and stay safe. She said she was going to the underground. Yeah, she also says she normally doesn't respond during work time. I'm fairly certain. Unless she's, like, taking a break right now. It, it's work time. Oh. <laughs> the AI is numpy. That's fucking great. He's currently busy. Yep, I thought so. Yeah. Why is there like no one in here? Like, yo, wait, what? Oh. Oh, it's you two again. This is the third time today we've run into each other. Yeah. Cheers, the mo actually. Oh. Did my smart reply function tell you where I was? It's a system developed by the technology department. Pretty neat, right? What do you make of this painting? I'm no expert, but just from the artist's strokes, I can tell it's no ordinary piece. 
I don't know. I just collected it and hung it on the wall. <laughs> a certain kind of, uh, oh, that's the underground. Sorrow, you know? Yeah. Not your everyday kind of sadness. It runs much deeper than that. I'm no expert, she says. It's as if the artist had condensed history into one poignant but sorrowful image. The artist's brushwork depicts a generation's no, several generations hardships. Yeah, she's no expert, definitely. Not at all. The analysis of an aficionado. I wouldn't take my word for it. The Express has visited many worlds. I'm sure the Nameless have a far greater knowledge of such things than myself. No, actually. What you like, like chronologically, the Trailblazer has had, was found by the Astro Express crew on her space station. Space station, what, like little more, little more than like little less than a month ago. <laughs> I suppose what I'm trying to say is. Jesus Christ, a lot of happened. A lot has happened in a month's time. But <laughs> its overall value. Its intrinsic value may only be 50,000 credits, but its added value might push the total up to 200,000. Uh, sorry for crashing your artist party, but we came to talk to you about something else. Yep. So? A collaboration between our two sides, perhaps? Not exactly. Actually, we... Let's walk and talk. This way. Okay. Most Gee, of it's in this I'm museum. Are of little value. I'm sorry, Mihoya, but when you make your characters it's like that, I to find a diamond in the rough, so to speak. Miss Topaz, Branya's already told us about Bellabog's debt situation. Oh, you two are closer than I expected with her. We saved her planet. <laughs> so, how can I help? Not sure in the arrangement, or... We, uh, uh, help me out here. You know I'm not good at this kind of thing. Yeah, you're shit at it. Yeah, no, we can't do that. Uh... I see. I understand. From your point of view, I can see how unreasonable it appears. However, you must understand that debt collection is a big part of my job. I've dealt with cases far more difficult than Bellabox. How to deal with them? I appreciate each case has its difficulties. But if I treated every late debtor as a special case, the galaxy's economy would come to a grinding halt. Bellabog's economy will come to a grinding halt. Like... <laughs> If Bellabog's economy comes to a grinding halt, that means overall less, um, money circulation. No? <laughs> the Strategic Investment Department is well-versed in handling such situations. We can offer the debtor various repayment solutions, but Urillo 6 has far exceeded the allotted repayment period. I'm afraid milder solutions aren't the order of the day. So, I proposed to Branya. Oops, oh, almost gave away trade secrets there, didn't I? Oh, that was a close one. Yeah. Uh, the exhibits here are pretty ordinary. I estimate they're probably not worth much. Uh, let's keep moving. Seriously? <laughs> so you're basically saying the Bellabogians must pay off their ancestors' debts. When you think about it, it's just another part of the cycle of life. Uh, I'm not sure it's as poetic as that. Oh, wow, look! Is that little critter native to Urillo 6? Uh... It's so white and fluffy. Where can I find a live one? <laughs> and yeah, they... I absolutely yeah. adore them. Have you guys met Numbi yet? Yeah. Oh, where'd they go? They must be out playing somewhere. Hmm. Come to think of it. This little guy is on display here probably means it's already extinct, right? So, Miss Topaz, what exactly will it take for the IPC to go easier on Bellabog? Yeah, maybe we could pay off some of the debt now and the rest later. <laughs> Anya invested so much just to make this world a little better. And 
now, it feels like all of her efforts will be undone in the blink of an eye. It's just so cruel. <laughs> what do you take the IPC for, Miss March? We're just the same as Bellabog's architects. We're all followers of the preservation. Oh, wait, really? No matter what they solutions are? we propose, we will always take the welfare of the people of Bellabog into consideration. Otherwise, we'd be no different from the Legion, would we? Yeah. So you're saying there's nothing to worry about? But, Branya. Don't worry yourself too much. The Supreme Guardian is a wise person. She'll understand. But, to answer your question directly, it'd take a miracle. I'll complete the Arillo 6 project no matter what obstacles I encounter. Okay, I can respect this is that. A what should we do? Uh, I don't think there's anything we can do, Arch. I wouldn't waste too much energy on this matter. Yeah. Why not make the most of the festive atmosphere? Oh, looks like one of my colleagues is after me. My apologies, but I should Wait. probably take this. Bye. I'm trying to see where the phone case is. to convince her and she didn't move an inch we did promise Bronya we'd succeed no we actually didn't <laughs> I guess so but that still doesn't fix Bronya's problem yeah but I like I don't think there's much we can do <laughs> and as far as the express is concerned I think it'd be unwise to make the IPC our enemy. Yeah, considering we do a lot of business with them. <laughs> All these vested <laughs> interests. It's so hard to undo any of it. They teach this stuff in school. <sighs> oh, wait, did I even go to school? <laughs> did someone send you a message? What? Hey, Zila. <laughs> Huh? The IPC are causing trouble in the underworld? Already? Oh, seriously? Topaz was just talking about taking the welfare of the people of Bellabog into consideration. Oh, now they're pulling this stunt? You really can't trust these money-hungry IPC suits for a minute. Yeah, yeah, that is true. The welfare of the people. Ah, uh, yes. We, we do... We do t um, take the welfare of the people into consideration. Also, we have completely taken over and cut off all access to the underground's main s main source of both of both heat and economics. <laughs> oh, I really again. did jinx us. Yes. I don't think I have it in me to play the hero today. March every oh, single time you say something, you jinx us. Anywhere. What do you mean? Let's go lend them a hand. Evie. Hey. When the hell did March change? Hold on. I'm not sure how much longer we can hold out. It's bad, really bad. Their weapons and automatons are much stronger than anything we have. Nobody's been seriously hurt, but a few Wildfire members got minor injuries. Fortunately for us, it seems like they were holding back. You see those two in black? They've been guarding the mine entrance. They're not letting anyone in or out. Hey, just because you have fancy equipment doesn't mean you can bully us. Who do you think you are? What's the matter? Got nothing to say? What's going on inside the mine? Any ideas? A few miners made it out earlier. They look pretty panicked. They said the whole mine had been seized by the people in black. Ay vey. These uninvited guests keep talking about asset evaluation, whatever that means. All I know is that they're seriously disrupting the lives of the underworlders. And, oy vey. I kind of was thinking this when Topaz was like kind of talking about monetary worth of the paintings and everything. They're literally evaluating um, how much kind of like this different stuff here is worth like seriously 
Ah, uh, yes, so because Bellaba cannot pay their debt, we're gonna take away all their historical art and their only natural resource. You know, the resource that makes it able to be able that makes this place able to be lived in. <laughs> Yeah, I we were nice. just talking to her in the museum. Do you think her cronies are acting without her authorization? No, I don't think so. The person you're talking about, are they in charge of the people in black? Potaz, Pazto, <laughs> whatever her name is, she can wait. Right now, the most important thing is to free those trapped in the great mine. Are you two with me? Hey, hey. Yeah, great. Let's. What was the one thing we said? It'd probably be bad hey, to make an enemy out of the IPZ. <laughs> I got your tongue or something. If you knew what was best for you, you'd get out of my way. Actually, yeah. You guys must be exhausted standing here all day. How about you take a little lunch break? I'm sure the IPZ allows that, right? What's their deal? You two were talking to the director in the snow plains. Yes. So it's you. You're the one who was threatening to take us out in the snow plains. Oh, do you even know who you're talking to? If your boss knows to treat us with respect, you'd better start showing some yourself. I can't let you pass. My team leader said that if anyone gets through, I'll lose six months of performance bonuses. Team leader? <laughs> You're even lower on the pecking order than I thought. Sh shut up! I spent seven years on a forsaken asteroid preparing to join the IPC. <sighs> I went through 17 interviews before they finally hired me. <sighs> what right do you deadbeats have to criticize me? Okay, that that comment alone. <laughs> what right do you? Okay, okay. All right, nah, 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 nah. IPC interviews. I don't know what you're rambling on about. No, no, no. If there's one thing I hate more than, if there's one thing I hate more than whatever the fuck's going on here, it's people in a corporation who think that because they're in a corporation they're above everyone else. No need to waste our breath on this idiot. Let's do this. Well, they're dead. I want their weakest zone. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Hold on, what the fuck does that mean? D10. Performance points. <laughs> Man, those guys were even easier to deal with than I, th than I expected. Less than a minute. <laughs> or maybe about a minute I spent on that. That's it? He sure took off quickly. Yeah. Ugh, 17 rounds of interviews and these are the best people they can find? <laughs> <laughs> what a joke. <sighs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I've been warned that the ones in the mine won't go down without a fight. Okay. Let's set off when you're ready. No, come on. I've already been filming for 50 minutes. Ready for action? It's time to kick the IPC out of the underworld. Let's get moving. Hmm. I don't have a high... I don't have a... Um, built up ice character. If I get Jing Liu, I would. <laughs> hey, Sparag. Hello, it's Mr. Sparag, isn't it? And this cute little girl must be Clara. Uh, hello, Miss. Are you? I'm Topaz. I've come to have a chat with Mr. Sparag. Clara, go inside and wait for me. Huh? But if you have a guess. Maybe I should... She is not a guest. Neither is she a friend. Go, Clara. Everything will be fine. So, it seems my source was right. Who would have thought that such a strong bond could exist between a giant robot and a little girl? <sighs> so heartwarming. You Does he recognize the symbol? The Peace Corporation. Yeah. What is your motive for coming here? 
<laughs> Straight to the point, huh? I like your style. Urillo sex. Are robots familiar with that term? Anyway, it refers to the planet we're currently standing on. It's about to become the property of the IPC. Jesus Christ, okay. No one can reverse this outcome. Not you, not the nameless, nor any power in the galaxy. I only care about one thing right now. Demonstrating to the shareholders of the IPC that your Rillo 6 can generate value. In the long run, this is a way, the only way, to ensure Bellabod's long-term interests. I need your help to achieve this goal. Long-term interests undefined. Analyzing objectives. Analysis failed. Tell me, Emissary, how do you plan to convince the IPC leadership? That's simple. I'll show you. The fuck is that? This is... Source code. Or, to be more precise, source code that is able to take control of all mechanized units in Bellabog. Okay. I'm sure you're familiar with this. All mechanized units manufactured in Bellabog over the last 700 years utilize the underlying systems created by the IPC. The code is so refined that the engineers never saw any reason to change it. I assume you're also aware that there was once a large automaton factory in the underworld. Thousands upon thousands of automatons, enough to crush the Legion's vanguard, lay dormant within. This is my bargaining chip for negotiating with the higher-ups. I'll convince them that your Rillo 6 has a place in the company's long-term strategies. Wait, so is she not here because of the company? But first, I need a guide to show me where these automatons are buried. I understand. Your long-term interests can be defined as the survival of civilization at a macro level. And there goes Farah uh, going against us again. What are your intentions for the people currently living here? Their future has already been purchased. All okay. I can do is make them accept this fact using a relatively peaceful approach. Okay. I understand. I will assist you with your plan. Oh, so you're not as stubborn as the rumors suggest. The future you speak of is beyond my computational range, but my emotional analysis indicates that you are indeed trying to find ways to ensure the survival of this world. I know, but like, I get that part, but like, seriously, the way you word that, the future of these people has already been purchased. Are you serious? <laughs> Additionally, calculations indicate a 96.4% probability of compliance through force if I refuse to cooperate. <laughs> Your calculations are slightly on the conservative side. Here's to our future cooperation. If you wouldn't mind leading the way, Mr. Sparrow. 